The superdeterminism paradox challenges one of the fundamental assumptions in quantum mechanics and free will. It suggests that everything, including the choices we make in scientific experiments, might be predetermined by hidden variables. In quantum physics, Bell's theorem is a key result that proves no local hidden variable theory can reproduce all the predictions of quantum mechanics unless we allow for spooky action at a distance. Quantum entanglement. However, Bell's argument assumes that experimenters can freely choose their measurement settings. But what if they can't? What if every event, including the choice of measurement settings, was already predetermined by the initial conditions of the universe. This is where superdeterminism comes in. It proposes that the universe is completely deterministic and that everything is linked in a way that ensures quantum correlations do not violate any hidden local laws, avoiding the need for non-local entanglement. If true, this would mean that all experimental outcomes were fixed from the beginning of time, not just the quantum states, but even the very decisions of scientists conducting the experiments. At first glance, this seems like an elegant loophole in Bell's theorem, but at what cost? If superdeterminism is true, it effectively eliminates free will. Our sense of choice would be an illusion dictated by pre-existing conditions set at the birth of the universe. Furthermore, it challenges the very basis of scientific inquiry. If every experiment is predetermined, can we truly trust that we are discovering new knowledge? Or are we just uncovering what was always scripted? Some physicists, including Nobel laureate Gerard T. Hooft, have explored superdeterminism as a possible explanation for quantum mechanics without requiring non-locality. But most scientists remain skeptical. It also raises deep philosophical questions. If we are part of a deterministic system with no free choice, does anything we do actually matter? Or could this simply be a convenient excuse to avoid confronting the weirdness of quantum mechanics? If superdeterminism turns out to be true, it would force us to rethink not just physics, but our very notion of reality, free will, and what it means to make a choice. Superdeterminism suggests that the apparent violations of Bell's inequalities do not imply non-locality, but instead result from hidden variables that predetermine all measurement choices and outcomes. If true, this would mean that the randomness of quantum mechanics is an illusion and that every decision made in an experiment was predetermined by past conditions. This challenges the fundamental assumption of statistical independence in quantum mechanics, implying that we cannot freely choose measurement settings in Bell tests. If a hidden variable exists that predetermines both the detector settings and the particle states, the statistical violation of Bell's inequality could be an artifact of these initial conditions rather than a sign of true quantum entanglement. It's like believing a magician's trick is real only to later discover that every card you picked was subtly forced from the start. There was never true randomness. Bell's theorem shows that if quantum mechanics is correct, then either locality is false or hidden variables must obey non-classical rules. However, Superdeterminism challenges this by arguing that experimental choices are not truly free but are instead predetermined, which could invalidate Bell's assumptions. If true, then what we perceive as independent experimental choices might be constrained by hidden physical laws that we cannot escape. Experimental Bell tests assume that the choice of detector settings is independent of the properties of the entangled particles, but superdeterminism suggests that both could have been prearranged since the Big Bang. It's like flipping a coin and believing you are making a free choice, only to discover that the universe has secretly rigged every coin flip since the beginning of time. If superdeterminism is correct, then every thought, decision, and action, right down to the settings of scientific experiments, was determined by the initial conditions of the universe. This would mean that our sense of free will is an illusion, as even the decision to test for free will is itself predetermined. The idea deeply challenges both human intuition and classical philosophical notions of agency. In a superdeterministic framework, a scientist deciding to test Bell's theorem was always going to make that decision, removing any role for spontaneous choices. It's like being in a scripted movie where every action and word are already written, yet you still believe you are improvising the dialogue. Superdeterminism is difficult to test because any attempt to prove or disprove it would itself be predetermined. 
Unlike standard hidden variable theories, e.g. Bohmian mechanics, which still allow independent choices, superdeterminism suggests that there is no true randomness in nature. Because experiments are assumed to be constrained from the outset, no new statistical tests can decisively rule it out. Even if researchers find new ways to confirm Bell violations using distant quasars as measurement settings to ensure cosmic independence, superdeterminism could argue that those quasars were also prearranged by the universe's initial conditions. It's like trying to prove you are not in a video game, but every test you conduct is already coded into the game's physics engine preventing you from seeing outside the simulation. Physicists generally dislike superdeterminism because it undermines scientific methodology by suggesting that experimental outcomes are not truly independent. If every event is predetermined, then probability and randomness lose their meaning, which would require an entirely new formulation of physics. Some researchers argue that embracing superdeterminism could lead to deeper insights into quantum mechanics, but at the cost of redefining causality and probability itself. Superdeterminism would require modifying quantum mechanics so that wave function collapse is deterministic, removing true indeterminacy from physics. It's like claiming that a shuffled deck of cards is always in a fixed order but appears random to players who don't know the rules governing the shuffle. Superdeterminism suggests that every event in the universe follows a preordained script, which raises the question of whether the universe operates like a pre-programmed simulation. If every decision is predetermined, this implies that reality is following an ultra-complex but fixed set of rules, possibly dictated by a deeper theory or even a computational structure. This idea aligns with some interpretations of the holographic principle and simulation hypothesis, where reality is governed by an underlying deterministic framework. Some interpretations of quantum gravity suggest that space-time itself is emergent from an underlying prearranged mathematical structure, making reality more akin to a computation than a free-flowing process. It's like playing a video game where every random event is actually dictated by an algorithm, giving only the illusion of chance. For superdeterminism to be a viable theory, it must explain all observed quantum phenomena without invoking standard randomness or independent choices. A fully deterministic quantum theory would need to replace standard wave function collapse with a mechanism that accounts for every decision as part of an interconnected cosmic history. This approach remains speculative, as no working model currently exists that is both mathematically consistent and experimentally verifiable. Attempts to create a deterministic theory of quantum gravity have struggled, because most models still require some element of indeterminacy to match observations. It's like trying to rewrite history so that every event was inevitable, but discovering that tiny changes still lead to unpredictable consequences. If superdeterminism is true, it raises the question of whether multiple versions of reality exist or if there is only one rigidly determined history. Some interpretations of quantum mechanics suggest that different outcomes branch into parallel universes, but superdeterminism implies that only one sequence of events ever occurs, making the multiverse unnecessary. This conflicts with the many worlds interpretation, which allows for quantum superpositions to evolve into different outcomes. In a superdeterministic universe, Schrodinger's cat would always end up either alive or dead from the start, with no true quantum branching. It's like believing that every possible choice you make was never really a choice at all. It was just part of a single, unchangeable script. If superdeterminism is correct, then our current understanding of quantum mechanics would need to be reformulated to remove all probabilistic elements. Some researchers propose that quantum states might encode subtle deterministic variables that mimic randomness, but are actually structured by hidden constraints. However, integrating this idea into modern physics without contradicting successful quantum predictions remains a major challenge. Efforts to derive quantum mechanics from deeper deterministic rules, such as Gerard T. Hooft's deterministic cellular automata model, model attempt to reconcile superdeterminism with experimental results. It's like discovering that a coin always lands heads up because the entire environment was subtly rigged from the beginning, even though it looked random.